Mistakes that if you avoid them will win you any discussion or argument you have with anyone the first. Someone may cause you harm for a long time, but you decide to remain silent instead of disclosing what caused you, but once in a while, you are overflowing with enough and you disclose everything that you have been capturing for months and years and tell him the hurtful truth. It is true that this person must know his mistake in your right, but is the opposite of losing your relationship with him. No. Emotional intelligence allows you to tell him the truth, but without offending, because the words themselves will not feel offensive to the other unless boredom in the tone of your voice is hostility or tomorrow, so take control of yourself and say what you have in a friendly tone without offense, as that will not affect him much. The second. Many are afraid of entering into discussions and confronting others, as an internal conversation takes place between them and themselves that tells them that they should not interfere in reality. This is a big mistake because life sometimes requires that you be brave enough to confront. Those who talk transparently about their problems do not mean that they are the most brave, but rather they are the most accurate, as they compare what would happen if they did not interfere and what would happen if they intervened and things went as they wanted. The third. When someone promises you something but after a while you find that they did not fulfill their promise, you may feel angry about it and blame it completely. This behavior is considered wrong. Rather, in every discussion, you have to hold yourself some responsibility. Perhaps you too, or you did not strive enough to get what you were promised. The fourth, be careful in expressing your feelings without thinking about the facts and incidents that led to that feeling. The mind betrays feelings and results and does not store the facts that led to that, and this may land you in a problem if you present a negative opinion of the manager at work, for example, then he asks you to provide him with a practical example, then you may not remember anything but the result that you arrived at and transferred it to the manager and this is what it might put you in trouble. The advice we give you is that sharing feelings directly with others may alienate them and confuse them, and it is very necessary before entering into any discussion that you think about the events and facts that brought you to the results. 5. One of the mistakes that many people make is to defend their position, whatever it is. It is true that the natural human reaction is defense when another opinion or issue opposes them, but taking a defensive position always may lead to failure. The solution is very simple, which is to take into account before entering the discussion that your opinions may be wrong and the opinions of others may be correct, then put yourself in the place of the other person and try to find out the reason that made him contradict your opinion, and then the best way to convince others is to listen and listen carefully to what they say. The other person feels that you really understand him, and will be more open to hearing your opinion.